Four Corners A Year in Antarctica Anita Gannery Antarctica People can live almost anywhere on Earth. However, one place in which almost no one lives is Antarctica. Antarctica is the largest wilderness on the planet. It is one of the highest, coldest and windiest places you could imagine. Antarctica is one of the seven continents of the world. It is larger than Australia or Europe. In this book you can travel with scientists to a research station in Antarctica to find out what it is like to spend a year there. Antarctica is the most southern landmass on Earth. It is in the southern hemisphere and includes the South Pole. Antarctica has mountains and valleys like other continents. However, a thick sheet of ice covers almost all of Antarctica. Even on the warmest days, the temperature is freezing. This harsh climate makes it difficult for anything to live there. Few animals and plants can survive on the land. The oceans around Antarctica, however, are home to a variety of wildlife. There are whales, seals and fish, as well as penguins and other seabirds. Much of Antarctica is covered by deep snow or ice. Antarctica is shared by many countries, including the United Kingdom, for scientific research. Rothera Research Station is one of the United Kingdom's stations. During the summer, 400 to 500 scientists live in Antarctica. They study Antarctica's unique climate and wildlife. Some scientists study animals along the coast or in the water while others study rocks, ice, or the atmosphere. Opposite Seasons The northern and southern hemispheres have opposite seasons. December is a winter month in the north, but it is a summer month in the south. That is because in December the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, while the southern hemisphere is tilted towards it. The adventure begins. In the middle of October 2001, about a dozen British scientists boarded an aeroplane in the United Kingdom. They were going to spend a year in Antarctica studying fossils, ice cores and wildlife. Each one had packed special equipment. They also had lots of warm clothes. To get to Antarctica, the scientists first flew to Ascension Island and then to the Falkland Islands in the South Atlantic Ocean. A smaller plane then took them to Antarctica. They landed at the Rothera Research Station. The entire journey took about 24 hours. Rothera Research Station is on the Antarctic coastline closest to South America. A Dash 7 aeroplane carried scientists from the Falkland Islands to Rothera. Planes with wheels and skis can land on Rothera Research Station's runway. October is one of the warmer months in Antarctica, however, it did not seem very warm to the scientists. Snow-covered mountains surrounded the small research station and in some places the ground was covered by deep snow. Even though it was cold, the people at the station gave the newcomers a warm greeting. We were welcomed by some fake palm trees. Amazing Antarctica in Antarctica, it feels like winter all year. However, 